Today, I'm going to show you how to create this silky smooth transition within Premiere Pro. So let's just get right into it. So starting off this animation, you just need your two clips in the timeline. And we're going to start by going to this little page icon and creating an adjustment layer. Click OK and drag that adjustment layer right onto your timeline. This adjustment layer is way too big, so we're just going to close it off until it stops right before the second video clip. Select that adjustment layer and head up to the effects panel. And we're going to add three effects. The first one is replicate. So just double click on that. The next one is offset. And finally, we're just going to add a transform layer. Head over to the effects control panel and scroll down until you can see the replicate. We're going to leave this at two, but we are going to change the offset. So change this number to 2400 and change the 540 to 270. Scroll down to our transform effect and click this check mark off and crank the shutter angle up to 360. Drag your blue tracer to the very beginning of the animation and change the scale from 100 to 200 and make sure you do create a keyframe for that. We're going to go three big frames over so just hold shift and use your right arrow key to go one two and three and change that 200 to 350. We're going to select both these keyframes we're going to right click ease in and right click ease out open up this layer we're just going to drag this right one a little bit more to the right make sure it's nice and straight because you don't want to affect the animation and we're going to drag this left keyframe all the way over so we can create a nice arcing so it should look something like this so just select both your keyframes and drag them to the rightmost part of the adjustment layer the next step is just duplicating this adjustment layer so hold control and drag on this adjustment layer and drag it right over to the right side to the second clip we're going to bring it down so it's on the same level. So I'm just going to deselect the scale keyframes and click OK. And then drag your blue tracer to the very beginning of the animation and change this 200 to 104. Create a keyframe for it and then go three big keyframes over. So hold shift and use your right arrow key to go one, two, three, and then change that 104 back down to 200. Select both these keyframes right click ease in and right click ease out drag this left keyframe all the way over to the left and drag this right keyframe all the way over to the left as well now the next step is a little more complicated so just select this second adjustment layer we're going to go up to the effects panel and type in mirror double click on that mirror effect and scroll down in your effects control panel until you can find it we do want this mirror above the transform layer so i'm just going to minimize the transform layer and drag that mirror right above it and we're going to create four different mirror effects so just do control c and then do control v three times so one two and three make sure all these mirror layers are above the transform layer and then for the very first mirror we're going to change the reflection center to 482 and change the angle to 180. For the second one, we're going to change it to 1438 and leave everything else as is. The third mirror, change the 540 to 809 and change the angle to 90. And finally, for the last one, we're just going to change the 540 to 269 and change the angle to negative 90. Now that we got the basic animation down, we're going to add some more effects to make this more realistic. So we can just go ahead and grab another adjustment layer and place it right on top of all of these layers. We're just going to reduce the size a bit, make sure that adjustment layer is selected and then head up to the effects panel once again grab a gaussian blur and we're also going to grab a brightness align your blue tracer right in the middle between the two clips and change the blurriness from 0 to 8 and also change the brightness to 23. Create a keyframe for both of these effects and drag your blue tracer a little bit forward. We're also going to create another two keyframes. Now drag your blue tracer back to those two first keyframes and then we're going to go two big keyframes to the right. So hold shift and use your arrow key to go two big keyframes over and we're going to change the blurriness back down to zero so you can just reset the parameter and also reset the parameter for the brightness. Head back over to the very first keyframes and we're going to go two big keyframes to the left so hold your shift and go over twice to the left and reset the parameters once again for both of those effects there is one more adjustment layer we got to add so i'm just going to drag this adjustment layer to the very top and we're going to grab a final adjustment layer and reduce the size so it's right down to this point make sure this middle adjustment layer is selected and head up to the effects panel and type in lens distortion double click on that and drag your blue tracer right in between both of those clips once again and head up to the effects control panel under the lens distortion so we're going to 
change this curvature to negative 36, we're also going to create a keyframe for it. I'm just going to move my blue tracer one frame forward and we're going to reset the parameter so it goes back down to zero. Drag my blue tracer a little bit forward to right about here and reset the parameters once again. And just like that, we've created a very silky smooth zoom in animation. Now, if you want to learn how to create trippy text within Premiere Pro, click the video on screen. That's everything for me, guys. Peace out.